Jura arrives in Winterfell along with Daenerys and her large army. He later goes to the castle's library with Daenerys so she can meet Samwell and thank him for saving Jora from the Greyscale. When Sam tells them that he is the son of Randall Tarly and the brother of Dickon Tarly, who were both executed by Daenerys, Jora looks away as they face Samwell's evident sorrow. Samwell excuses himself, after which both Daenerys and Jora look on in regretful irony, with Samwell having saved Daenerys' oldest friend, but Daenerys herself having killed Samwell's family. Jura witnesses Jaime Lannister's arrival in Winterfell, and the revelation that the army promised by Cersei Lannister will not come. Sensing that Daenerys could remove Tyrion from the position of Hand of the Queen for having underestimated his sister, Jora goes to Daenerys and vouches for Tyrion, insisting that he learns from his mistakes and that he should remain her hand, even though Daenerys considered Jora himself for the position before his betrayal was revealed. Jora also advises Daenerys to try and build a more cordial relationship with Sansa Stark. Jorah's advice is heeded by Daenerys during a war council, in which she orders Tyrion to hide in the crypt during the battle as he is too valuable for her to lose. He later attempts to convince his younger cousin Lyanna Mormont to remain far from the battle in order to preserve the future of House Mormont, but she refuses, and wishes Jorah good luck in the fight to come. Jorah is then approached by Samwell, who gives him his family sword Heartsbane, and Jorah promises to wield it in memory of his father Jor. He then rides into battle as the army of the dead has arrived. As the battle is about to begin, Jorah and his Dothraki cavalry are approached by Melisandre, who sets fire to the cavalry's blades to help them in their fight against the dead. Jorah leads the charge of the cavalry, but is forced to retreat as his forces are overwhelmed by the whites. During the battle, Jorah destroys innumerable whites but then witnesses Daenerys falling off Drogon, who was being attacked by a swarm of whites. Jorah runs to pick her up and protects her from the encircling whites. While protecting his queen, Jorah is stabbed multiple times. Moments after Arya Stark kills the Night King, Jorah dies staring into the eyes of his beloved queen, having fulfilled his vow to protect her while Daenerys grieves over his body. Jorah's body is reclaimed after the battle and put onto one of the many funeral pyres held for all those who fell fighting the whites. Daenerys kisses his forehead before joining the crowd assembled to listen to Jon's eulogy after which Jorah's pyre is set on fire by Daenerys herself. Later, Jon assures Daenerys that Jorah would not have chosen another way to die than being killed protecting his queen. Daenerys recalls that Jorah loved her in a way she could never love him back, 